Azur resmi Rusia. So I was black. You're gonna see another London, but uh, most of all, it's gonna exchange slap, of course. So very symmetrical so far. Um, but to be fair, I wasn't well prepared. Just because uh, undefeated again, we're not going to be. <laughs> Um, I forgot what was the best here, so probably I feel like I jumped to the position with the traps, okay? So I didn't accept the traps, <laughs> the sneaky free pieces so far, because I feel like this is a special prep. And uh... so here, let me check out what is the main theory. So I can simply play e6. You can still come here. Uh, maybe it's good to go to the opening book. Ah, there's no opening book here. Okay, so let's go back. Hey, girl. I know the truth of why you play. Um, Wait. Ah, we're not supposed to go to the completely analysis board somehow. To check out the opening book. Only engine. So knight takes e5. Um... Knight takes e5 is, is quite good. Same there, I know. The reason you play. There is a long ago, answer from the men. This take me to you to dinner. I left you with the bill. Now, in an act of. Sweet. That olive garden. <laughs> um, I have played Grandmaster. Yeah, when you play open tournament, first round always you can meet a Grandmaster. Yeah. So I should, I think I I should know this variation, but I don't. I, to be fair, I didn't go so deeper in this exchange slab. Maybe I a little bit underestimated, like uh, how strong it is. Right, so maybe should go deeper next time to this analysis. Always see if there is a check. I have B5. Um, so what else we have? We have check from this move order and sec the knight. It's a standard sec, but now bishop is still able to come back. That's why I don't want to play E6 most of these exchange slabs. So, um... D4, yeah, so if he captures with the pawn, there is a D4 line. If he captures with the bishop, then I totally simplify and I can... Can I simply play E6, pawn t bishop takes, pawn takes? Hmm. Maybe should should attack the bishop to simplify more and more. Um, if there is any sacrifice, I don't think so here. I will simply take it. In case V3, I simply push E6. Try to take, move away the bishop out, uh, bishop out and castling. Um, yeah, this is what I have to play. I have to take the knight immediately. Rook c8 is fine, queen a4. I uh, bring the bishop back, playing super safety, queen b3. Um, knight a5. I spent a lot of time here also, because I, I told you I didn't know if this pawn is acceptable or not, but I felt like when I don't know the variation, it's better to not take the pawn, okay? So, uh, I spent a bit of time here. Not so much, but uh, World Cup before. I never played the World Cup before. <laughs> um, only European Cup. You should qualify for this World Cup somehow, you know? Sherlock, happy to see you. As she wishes. Okay. Yeah, because you always expect exchange slap to be uh, something like... Okay, so I play knight d5, the most common move. And then I push b5. I thought b4 is working, but... No, no. This was some special prep. And again, I spent a little bit of time why this is not working. Not, mo not more than one minute. But b4 for sure does work because of bishop takes. Yes, I'm supposed to take two... Uh, pieces for a rook but um he will take uh two pawns also so pawn a6 and pawn um b5 disappear so definitely it's not good deal 
I, I'm not okay here anymore. Uh, so that's why he's uh, relaxing and not spending time to play A3 because of my B4. So I have tried to develop as fast as possible. Faster development could be E6. Uh, bishop E7 and castle. Castle, castle. I missed to play, for instance, knight h5, challenge against bishop, would be nice. Okay, queen e2, finally, I... Maybe I wanted to go over this. Uh, or, of course, I want to maneuver my knight through this or this way. It's 4 a4. I thought b4 is pretty fine, and here I feel comfortable, to be fair. So, I sacrifice c4 pawn. His knight is out of the playing area, but I want to take on a4 in the end of the line. So he spent a lot of time here. What to do with my knight on c4? He spent here. Look at his time. Are you able to look at his time here? Here? Downstairs? He has 13 minutes. So he spent a lot of time here. And now he has 6 minutes. He made a big mistake to spend over 7 minutes on that move. Why? I know why. Because situation is very complicated. But take, take, take. However, he takes. I just take on A4. I didn't really know why Ali Reza isn't playing in the World Cup. No, I don't know. I don't think bad thing. Seven minutes about knight takes d7. Actually, he select the, the best moves in this position. Um, I guess Reza isn't like me. He likes to think and not play with the two seconds move rule. <laughs> yeah, seven minutes for that move and I already has more time. I already have more time than him. Uh, Queen takes d7, b3. Yeah, objectively, this was the best. I bring the knight back to d6. Yeah, it's fine. I can also try to go to a3. It's a bit annoying. But I thought I had some kind of advantage. Rook c5. Uh, he spent seconds about that move. Quite interesting. Because the move is not good. <laughs> And I miss a huge advantage here. I play a move like knight, knight b7, and he play a move like rook b5. Uh, mystic after mystic. So why the move of the seconds is not the best? It's a 5 seconds move. Short thing, bad thing. Exactly. So why this was a big mistake of the Grandmaster Rusev? Why? We should ask Mr. King now. Is Mr. King? He's a little bit bigger. He's about one kill more than Mr. Fluffy. <laughs> Don't ask me why. 
Um, so why rook c5 is so bad move? Yingy. 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 So why rook c5 is so bad? D4 Repeating the question <laughs> doesn't magically make me <laughs> Some people could not hear the question could come right now <laughs> Magically make me know the answer Pick C5 D C knight D4 As usual coach is a coach Coach is a coach <laughs> all right because of immediately takes that was super scary about this pawn chat so when you go to uh take take in 94 uh opponent can simply attack me to bishop b5 and push more so i will i was super scary Rook behind su strong support and push the pawn c6 c7 uh yeah even mr king is looking looking the mouse and he's quite agree with me that looks scary, but Blake is having plus one. Um, so c6, uh, knight h5. Probably this is the move what I totally forgot about. Of course, I know it, knight h5. He tried to be sneaky and not play h3. But I forgot about that in many, many moments I could go, I could jump on h5 and take his bishop. That was... Ah. Okay. Okay. So knight d4. Uh, if he ever play rook c1, uh, you can simple um, play rook c8, and more more pressure. More pressure against the uh, pass pawn. It uh, looks like a not so easy uh, situation here. Uh, but um, thinking in advance, I didn't like the position to have this fast pawn, to have this uh, bishop pair uh, killing me softly, and so on. It's not Mr. Fluffy, it's Mr. King. It was Mr. King. <laughs> uh, it was Mr. King. Anyway, I didn't take the rook, I played knight b7, he must exchange the rooks, he didn't. And now I thought, what the hell, this rook on b5 should be trapped one day. I have to take the I have to take the rook. But now I start generating bad moves after bad in the middle game part. I was waiting for, I had double time more than him. And maybe this is making me overconfident that whatever I do, I gonna win the game on time. Because he start thinking, you know seven minutes on one move and so on hey hey Kalfo nelson happy to see you they look so alike with that disappointing look <laughs> actually mr king is always looking disappointed always looking and mr Pluffy is always curious they're totally different always curious always with me in the bathroom um <laughs> mr Pluffy is always with me in in the bed when i go to sleep he wished to be uh and always when i go to the bathroom always when i'm eating he's always with me but mr king no he can sleep all day all night on the on the other room and he he doesn't feel that energy between uh human and cat you know <laughs> you know what i'm talking about <laughs> oh my gosh okay so thinks she will flag the grandmaster oh by the way this guy uh grandmaster rusev becomes second on the blitz tournament so i i played around before with the champion i did a draw and you see how good position i had and then um i play against the number two <laughs> in the blitz tournament 
too much information. <laughs> yeah, so Rook A8 is definitely tough, tough plan. What should I do? Because I feel like I don't, I, I'm not good here. And maybe eventual plan of white gonna be E4. We get Magnus round one of title Tuesday. Magnus, 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 Magnus. <laughs> So guys, what is the plan? The plan is uh, freedom for my knight. So let's say I, I, I could be quite flexible. Knight d8, knight e6. Freedom for the knight on b7. That, that was the plan of rook a8. Or also just stay like that. <laughs> Don't ask me. I was empty here. I, I hope to win on time. <laughs> but position is not so bad. It's 0, 0, 0, 0. So, chop. How are we going to hold on? Okay. In first round, since next round, the points difference will be to be get paired with Carlos. <laughs> I should start with some five out of five, yeah. Meet Carlos, and otherwise, if I don't meet him in round one. It's worth more than a knight. Why free a knight and tie down a rook? Because if you cannot use the resources of the rook, like, alright, you're gonna double, but you cannot step here, you cannot step here, you cannot step here, you cannot step here, you cannot step here. Cannot step here. Why the hell I have a rook then? So I, I don't really have a maneuvering of the rook. Yeah. There is a plan what computer showing something like that, but I still don't find out resources, you know, I, I just think. But maybe rook d8 is helping to prevent move like e4. No, he has to move to e4 later, not now. So the other, the other move is simple e6. So once he comes to me, I just jump here. Oh, I never think about that. So where is the advantage? I take here. He take here. And I go here. Wow. And I play against the bad place knight. Ooh, this is deep positional pawn sacrifice in the center to simplify everything. Wow. Guessing that and not me round one is usually where the super grandmaster faces to five. <laughs> Any Americans in the house? If so, can we she why US Junior Girls is an Asian American pair? Okay, so this will be a bit of drawish. But actually if my next move is Rook C2, maybe it's not so simple for white. Yeah. And then so Tar gonna ask me why Rook A1? They need a window right now. Urgent window, Rook C2. Why Rook A1? Because there is nothing else. <laughs> and uh, probably this is um uh, this is quite a fun position for black, like step on the second rank by, by both rooks. Um, Chinese or Indian origin? I don't know why. Okay, so I will... I, I didn't find out resources with 94. I just saw that I don't have so so big choice. In 9th age 5, by the way... Um, hey, Jerry, I'm happy to see you. Knight h5, by the way, is losing, if you mean now knight h5. So I first should play e6, and then bishop e5. And not 2-5 plus, yeah, so I should I should make it to the next title Tuesday. Now knight e4. Knight h5 is not that great, maybe, I don't know. e4, e4 is terrible, guys. e4 is terrible because, boom, bishop takes, and I'm like... Uh, I'm like, uh, not sure how to say, I'm like kebab, <laughs> I'm like junior kebab, <laughs> barbecue, I'm like barbecue if I capture on e4, you know, uh, <laughs> so, um, I was empty of ideas one more time, couldn't find a good plan, ooh, queen h3, 
Oh, come on, he will never find out that move. Queen h3. Incredible. Their kids get too much homework. <laughs> okay, knight d6 was playable. Oh, I could take e5 and then play e6. What is the difference? Difference is. Now he activated the rook. This is the difference. So I don't need to take the bishop now. And even now he has two minutes. I have more minutes. Three minutes and 50. But I have no plan. This is the problem. Now he has maybe more control. I don't, I didn't know what to do by my two genius knights. One of them doing nothing. The other one is also doing nothing. And tight hands. Rook e6. In the flan. Then what? Rook e7. Genius plan to stay like that. I don't know. Uh, maybe knight f6. Maybe knight back. Okay. So you have to see uh, the game because I have to prepare for title Tuesday. But okay. King f8. Only one defense. Otherwise after rook e7 I have to resign. F6. It was a bullet game in the end, yeah? One minute uh, of the both players. F6. Uh, I have two jobs or present. It's time hungry. Hence, I have been a bit upset. Can I help with you? New situation. I have to do it all by myself. <laughs> All right. Um, rook b8, draw. I have no idea what I'm doing there. Oh, rook b8, followed by knight c7. This is the trap what I was dreaming all game, all night. Hmm. So if bishop g4? Bishop g4, what do I do? Queen d8, maybe? Bishop g4, queen d8, wow. So here I had seconds, less than him. This was big drama. I have to, I don't know, I have to run away with my king or just queen f7. I play h5, it was too crazy, too crazy. f5 is also too crazy because I'm under pin. He come back here, which is a big mistake of him. I expected bishop e6, I saw that move. I'm lost after it. Uh, bishop f3. And if seven was a mistake of me, g5 chat now. Because he doesn't know he doesn't have now queen e3. I just take the rook. And after queen f5. What the genius move I'm having right now. I didn't see that. Go go go. Try to find out. I saw g5 before that, but I didn't think about that he has to. He's having a uh, very bad place queen, let's say. Britain has a large Asian community, mainly due to our history, so lots of Indian players in junior ranks. I've never been in Britain, Great Britain, so... Maybe some Manchester United soccer match we could try to visit. Probably... London is an interesting city. I'm not a fan of the raining, but uh, probably during the summer you can see beautiful things. Okay, so now uh, I'm pretty sure nobody gonna find out that move. It's advantage for me, but <laughs> Alpha Nelson is not a fan of Manchester United, I see. Um, no, queen f7 is fine. You tread the rook, but I will simply run away. Like, there Thank we go. Thanks thank you so much, dear K24 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You become two years old. GG. <laughs> so, uh, because my tournament is coming, guys. I'm still waiting for a correct move.
Hey, Double H, happy to see you. Have you played? I think I didn't stream before Title Tuesday, or maybe I don't remember. In G8 is pretty simple, and again, white will move away the rook. The idea is you thread the rook, you thread the rook on e5, you know? You thread the rook on e5, but also uh, the idea is play against the queen. Bad plays queen. We need the space for our genius knight. What is the space for the knight? Everybody is welcome in Liverpool. <laughs> I will never find out that move on 20 seconds on the clock for sure. Come on. Let's see. Rook 6, D7 chat. Followed by Knight, D6, 4 key. Unstoppable 4 key. At the same time, of course, once you kick out the kick out the queen. You can take the uh, rook on e5. Rook 6, d7. Exactly. I didn't see g5. And the game continue by my waiting for stupid strategy. My waiting strategy. They simply come to me. And he simply win the game. By that way. And the game is over.